So, turns out life is not that complicated. And then, so if you understand sort of the basics of some of the physical world, then everything can literally mechanistically sort of fall into place as long as you have your mindset right and I guess the mindset gets to be produced and driven by an individual soul and their journey and so it's really beautiful um, to have a nice airy day and everything's kind of just up in the clouds you can just feel it you know it's lightweight it's not heavy days not heavy times um, and it's nice to sort of seeing or to be seeing or to see in my own life sort of all the little mechanistic clockwork physicalities which are truly numerable. The world itself is numerable, um, which is why very likely um, if the scientists are going to want to advance and update, including the mathematicians, um, and for their ab abstractions into more concrete um, forms and and notations of our universe and language for communicating about our universe if these people want to um, really get a, a much more general scope uh, in terms of vastness for utilization within the physical realm for example building different physical um, material skyscraper structures, new types of alloys and metals and all of that stuff. Um, the point of abstraction, um, a really good um, finite um, boundary and border within the abstractions of all of these uh, mental fields uh, is information okay so then if you have your mindset set on information as a scientist or a material builder or a researcher and you begin to see sort of all of the universe around us as information then that abstracted mind field of thought is going to allow a very, very large spectrum and large um, abstract notation to be concretized or um, made concrete um, and non-abstract. So, you know, it's, it really is sort of like um, the matrix. It's sort of um, zeros and ones, but I'm referring to um, the literal bifurcation state of all of materiality in order for space itself to exist. And so, anyways, yeah, enjoy the, the airy thoughts, um, learn how to fix your own engine. Trust me, you'll be very glad you learned how to um, fix and operate and repair your own engine, okay? Trust me, and you don't need anyone else. You, uh, you don't need daddy, you don't need mommy. Um, all you need to do is get that mind going and get it set and get it ready to figure it out because 
the actual physicalities which are concrete in form and structure such as the round pulleys on a belt system of a vehicle um, they're finite in terms of their form and their um, materialized representation and materialized usages and functions and so it's not that complex there's limitations um, on how your literal belt system can physically be formed and how the pulleys work and it's all um, a very finite and limited set of possibilities which is why right in front of you you see um, the rainbow right you see the literal rainbow right in front of you and even more you see black okay the other half of the rainbow and that's why if you look out this way you're gonna see um, on my screen I can see I'm sure somewhere um, red blue yellow and green in this screen Okay, that's why in this direction of the four directions you can see, you'll end up seeing red, blue, yellow, and green. Okay? So, and it's all physical maps. Uh, these are all 2D things we're seeing in our brains. And um, even though they're elongated and stretched um, over time and experience, um, our information centers and processes um, allow the stretching and allow movement and perceived movement um, to the progression of time. We allow that. We create the progression of time um, in many regards, in many respects. And so that's why no matter like which of the four directions I point my phone right now, you're going to see the four colors. And it's because the physical material reality having ma been made concrete from an abstract state of information only has limited s uh, nodes of stability. Um, there's, that's why there's the, the four elements. Um, they're in sort of all of the different religious teachings, water, fire, earth, and air. And um, so enjoy the air today. I can feel it. It's nice and light. It feels great. Um, and don't get lost up in the sauce. Don't fall in the ocean. Because, honey, baby, you're going to be swimming in my ocean. In my ocean, you don't want to swim in for too long, okay? You're going to drown. So you don't want to be doing that. Um, yeah, so keep it simple. Um, enjoy the simplicity of the, the physical material reality you get to um, scratch at with your hands when you dig in the dirt and remember that the dirt is a fourth of all of the um, mechanized um, material um, physical realities that are abstracted mentations and abstracted states of um, consciousness and thought um, have parsed as information into the physical reality and so and I guess the only thing other le left is the tr for the, the Trinity um, is um, you know people like Trinity um, and the only thing left then is just uh, when you f leave your body um, you got to leave your mind and then you're able to go and make operations um, mechanistically um, in 12 and beyond the 13 you you become a master and you begin operating in um, soul dimensions okay um, so don't worry things can seem really complex in life 
Um, but when you go through the right set of experiences and tribulations and growth and wonderful times and moments, um, you can supersede yourself. Um, you can build bridges. You can um, 